Dear Prime Minister Trudeau, I want to speak to you today about your current approach to and treatment of our fellow Canadians who are protesting your federal vaccine mandates. They have asked to meet with you, Prime Minister. Medical experts, top scientists, doctors, nurses, parents, grandparents, intelligent, loving, concerned citizens, why won't you sit with them? If you are so convinced of your own reasons for the mandates, sit down and walk the leaders of a group of 2.3 million protesters across the country who represent many millions more across the nation and explain it to them and ask them to listen with open hearts and minds and then reciprocate. Listen to what they have to say with a mind open to hearing things that might go against the ideas you are entrenched in. Maybe there are solutions that could bring Canadians together right now that you have not considered. You unify people by finding solutions together, not by vilifying those who say there is a better way. What we need right now from our leadership is unification, and that requires being willing to see, recognize, and hear from the people sitting out in the cold at your door. And if you think that there is no sense, no intelligence, and no humanity in those people, please listen to Needle Points by Norman Deutsch a vaccinated psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who has painstakingly and comprehensively laid out why these protesters are not unreasonable or unjustified in having great concern over the current state of vaccination affairs. Or better yet, go outside and meet those protesters for yourself. That is what a true leader would do. They would go out and meet their constituents, look them in the eye and treat them with respect. I have heard first-hand accounts from people in Ottawa saying that they have had local Ottawa citizens come down to see for themselves the fury and destruction that is going on in their own city, only to find thousands of people singing, dancing, hugging, waiting patiently, speaking kindly, cleaning up the streets and generally sharing the true Canadian spirit. They have been mystified because you and the corporate media have painted a very different picture. You as a group have gone from ignoring these protesters to dismissing them as a fringe minority, to smearing them as racist and misogynistic, to now attacking them as terrorists. When you became Prime Minister of Canada, you did not just become the Prime Minister of the people who agreed with you. You became Prime Minister of every Canadian. You don't get to pick and choose who you will care about. It is your civic duty to care about all Canadians even those who you disagree with. Treating them with prejudice, suspicion, and illegal repression is not care. Protesting something that deeply, deeply concerns you in our society is not terrorism. It is the civic duty of every Canadian. It is our job as the people to hold our leadership accountable if they are infringing on our inalienable rights, if we suspect that they have become corrupted or compromised in any way, or simply if we think they're wrong in monumental decisions they are making on behalf of their people. But you are treating my brothers and sisters, your constituents, like terrorists without ever speaking to their leadership. There are no riots. This is not a violent protest. There is only a mass of deeply concerned citizens at your doorstep who you refuse to acknowledge for what they are, your people. To everybody listening, everybody, people who disagree with the mandates and people who agree with them. If you think that the person on the other side of this divide is your enemy, please take time to get to know them. Listen with an open heart to what they're really saying. And remember that we're all humans who get scared and feel pain. And most of us are just trying our best to build the brightest future for the next generation and the happiest, most fulfilling, most peaceful and healthy today. Don't let the press brainwash you into division and hatred. The antidote to prejudice is knowledge. Because of the algorithmic way your Google searches are filled, it can be very hard to find good information on the other side. Ask someone you know. If you could share five things with me that would explain your point of view, what would they be? I want to listen to them. This is what I do, and it has kept me sane through all of this insanity. 
listening is the only way out of the ideological mess the media has broiled us all into. May cooler, wiser, more loving heads prevail right now. The future of our society depends upon it.